to talk about the solar edge uh, inverter that converts the DC signal of the optimizers into AC power for the uh, household appliances. I'm Jay Warmke with Blue Rock Station, and this is a solar edge inverter unit. It has an integrated DC disconnect here, and then the inverter function actually takes place up here. Since we're talking about the installation, we're not going to talk about all the programming and all of those issues that um, the more advanced or the lead technician on the site would be um, doing once you begin the commissioning of the system. We're going to talk about the DC disconnect portion and how you wire this. The only reason you might be able to, oh, and before you open this, be sure it's turned to the off position. You'll open this up. We'll talk in detail about what's, inclu what's included within this unit. But the one thing that you do need to know about the top unit is there is a SIMS card. When you unpack the system, you want to make sure that you keep that SIMS card, and that goes into this, and that will be new needed later when we begin to commission the system. But for right now, let's just talk about how we wire up the DC disconnect. Okay, now we're going to wire up the DC portion uh, in the DC disconnect. So these are the wires that are going to be running from the solar um, edge power optimizers down to the unit. For each string, you're going to have a positive and a negative. Typically, those are going to be marked, um, but the color coding we use in the field is red for positive, black for negative. But the code does require that these be marked as to which is positive, which is negative. Now when you run your DC wires in from your power optimizers, the optimizers uh, produce a one volt signal voltage for each of the optimizers that's connected to the system. So if you have 10 optimizers in a string, you should get a signal voltage of 10 volts. If you have 11, you'll get 11 volts and so on and so forth. So uh, be sure you test these before you connect to the connection point because they will bleed over so if you try and test it after they're in there, you might have one string that's working, one that's not, but it will look like both of them are working. So test for your signal voltage. See that your optimizers up on the roof are functioning before you make the connection. This particular solar edge inverter, we have the DC disconnect or the DCD open. This is where you're going to make your connections within the unit. This particular inverter has ports for two strings coming in. We're only going to hook up one string in this demonstration. So this is the DC in, this is the AC out, pretty straightforward, a grounding bus bar. So we come in from the junction box or the combiner box, and we're coming in with, um, it must be, because it's DC, if this is within a building, it must be in metal conduit. So this MC cable will work but also um, EMT would work as well. So we're going to come into the system. I've got four wires in this case because we're pulling MC. I don't need the white wire because this is DC. That wire is abandoned. You can buy a cable that doesn't have that white wire. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and terminate the incoming DC circuit to the DC positive, the DC negative. As I mentioned, there are contact areas for two strings. So we'll take the black wire, which indicates the negative incoming DC, which will line up with this. I'll go ahead and trim off a little bit. Strip the wire down. Now this happens to be solid core wire. The way these connect in is there is a little push element here. So we'll push this in and then feed the wire in until it connects. And this is now a snug connection. Okay, now I will take the positive wire. We'll feed this over, trim it down to the appropriate length. Strip off about a quarter inch. We're using solid core wire here, which for this type of termination is just a little bit easier. We push this in, 
push the release, the wire will go in and it will clamp. That is the connection there for our DC string. Now we'll come over and connect our equipment ground to the grounding bus bar. Then I'm going to strip off a bit of wire. And in this case, we will come in to the grounding bus bar. Any of these screws will work. And we'll just screw tighten this down. Make sure you're making a snug connection. You want to make sure also the screw doesn't tighten down on the insulation of the wire. Then you will not get a solid connection. Now we've hooked up our DC. We have the equipment ground. We have the positive and we have the negative. Now we're going to hook up our AC output. Now the AC output will be going out to an AC disconnect. The AC disconnect must be located within 10 feet of the meter, must be externally operable, and it must be well marked. Because it's going outdoors, we're putting this in liquid tight. You could put it in, um, you know, PVC or whatever, but this is just a nice flexible solution. So we've already pulled our wires in. In this case, we have line one, line two, and a neutral. You'll see the red wire corresponds with line one, black wire with line two, the white wire with neutral, just standard AC wiring. So it has the same push connection. Okay, we also need to hook up the equipment ground. The equipment ground goes into the same bus bar. Because this is a um, transformerless inverter, there is no need for a separate DC ground rod. But if your inspector says you need a separate DC ground rod, you can just hook it into here, run a second ground rod, but then you'll need to bond them together. Hopefully this video has indicated just how simple it is to install a solar edge inverter. As we've noted here in the DC disconnect, you bring in and terminate each string in the DC input ports. There are two string locations or two string options here in this model. Then you have your AC output. The AC output would go to your AC disconnect. And then the equipment ground that's coming from the combiner box or the junction box is terminated in the bus bar. Then there's also a equipment ground for the AC portion of the system which is terminated in the same bus bar and then if you do require an auxiliary DC ground rod if your code official requires that that's terminated also in that same bus bar so this slide here will indicate what a solar edge inverter looks like when it's all wired up and then there are other alternative models of the solar edge and they're wired in a similar manner uh, you just look for the location and terminate. So have fun and enjoy. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at blueRockStation.com.